So anyway. All right. So um, to keep you from having to write the electron, the full electron configuration for every big giant atom, we uh, we have something called the noble gas shorthand. And noble gas shorthand is basically well, it's a shortcut. Kind of like if you were going to tell your your friend how to get to your house, do you say? Get in your car, back out of your driveway, drive down this road, then drive down this road, and then go down that highway and then drive. No, you say, turn left at Taco Bell, right? Or turn right at Albertsons. You basically give them a benchmark. You say, everybody knows where the Taco Bell is, so just turn left at Taco Bell. So that's how noble gas configurations work. These are the configurations for the noble gases, uh, at least the first few. Um, neon, argon, and krypton. I'm going to ignore helium and xenon, but they work too. Um, what do you notice, first of all, about the noble gases and, and their configuration? They're all in P6. Exactly. They all end P6. And that's not a coincidence. Okay? We arrange the periodic table so we end at the P block. So they all end P6. Neon ends 2P6. Argon, Krypton, 3P6, and 4P6. They all end P6, which is great. They're all at the end of the periodic table. Now, if you looked at uh, magnesium, magnesium's electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. And if you look at magnesium on the wall, it's right there, and you wanted to shorten magnesium's electron configuration, this is usually what you see online and in textbooks. You look at the previous noble gas, which is neon. So look at magnesium's electron configuration. You might notice that neon is sitting there right in the middle. So you can replace magnesium's configuration with simply neon 3s2. So rather than writing 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, you can replace magnesium's configuration with neon 3s2. In other words, neon as a benchmark plus everything after it until you get to magnesium. Okay, well this saves you writing a little bit, but it works with big things too. So titanium, there's titanium, look at that. Titanium has a configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 32. And it's right there. It's right there, the second element in the first D block, 3D. And if you were to write titanium's configuration, you have to write all of that, or you could look at the noble gas right before titanium. What is a noble gas right before titanium? It's argon, exactly. So you just kind of backpedal a little bit and you find argon right there. So argon's configuration, 3P6, is right there. So if you want to shorten titanium's configuration, you just make a little slice at 3P6 and write argon 4S2, 3D2. Make sense? Okay. So we're going to do a couple here in a second. Are there any questions? Okay, I also want to show you a really slick little uh, check. So if you find magnesium on the periodic table, how many electrons does magnesium have? Two. No. Overall, total. 12, it has 12, exactly. So if you want to check your work, you're like, okay, magnesium should have 12. Neon has 10 plus two, yep, 12 equals 10 plus two, cool. And how many does titanium have? 22. 22, so you're like, okay, titanium should have 22. Argon has how many? 18. 18, so argon is 18 plus two from the 4s2 and two from the 3d2. Does 22 equal 18 plus two plus two? Yes. Yeah. This also works really well when you're just doing electron configurations. So here's the electron configuration for copper. And you're like, that's a lot of writing. I want to make sure I didn't make a mistake. Well, you find copper on the periodic table. How many electrons does copper have? 29. 
So copper should have 29. So we add 2 and 2 and 6 and 2 and 6 and 2 and 9. Is it 29? Okay, so this is a really good check. You shouldn't get electron configurations wrong if you do it properly because it's just arithmetic. You can check your work. You're like, I got 29 on the periodic table because I got 2 and 4 and 10 and 12 and 18. And, ah, 29, look at that. Okay, make sense so far? Yeah. Okay, any questions? We're gonna do some practice really quick. Okay, practice. What I'd like you to do is find on your periodic table Find yourself, you want a hard one or an easy one? Easy. An easy one? Okay, find yourself strontium. Strontium's SR. Something just fell off the ceiling. Like, like a dust bunny just fell right past my face. <laughs> So, uh, what level is strontium in? It's, yeah, it's in level five. It's in block S, and how far over? Two. two. So, strontium is going to end 5s2. If you want, we can write 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, 5s2. Or, we can look at strontium and look at the noble gas right before it. Krypton. Krypton. So instead of writing all that stuff, let's just write Krypton 5s2. That is strontium. Cool? And then we check our work. We say, well, so how many electrons does strontium have? 38. So strontium has 38. How many does Krypton have? 36. And then we have the two more. And does 36 equal plus 2 equal 38? Okay, that's noble gas configuration. Tomorrow, actually tomorrow we'll practice, and then Friday we'll learn the very last thing for electron configuration, and that is what happens when the noble gas, or when the atomic number is not the same as the number of electrons.